everyone, my name is Shay Silverman, and today I'm going to be teaching you how to make an arcade joystick for your Raspberry Pi. Your joystick's going to come out looking something like this. A six button style, start and select buttons, eight way fight stick, and a place for the USB cord to come out of the front. This one is powered by a no delay arcade encoder. And in a few moments, I'll show you how to build this and get it set up on your Pi. To complete this project, you're going to need a couple of items and tools. First, you're going to need the actual case. This is just a cheap Harbor Freight $14 little aluminum case. Um, you're also going to need some circular bits. This, I think, is around 20 millimeter, and this is around 28 to 30 millimeter. This is what we're going to use to cut the holes in for into our case for the arcade buttons. Um, also, another kit that you can get at Harbor Freight. This is only a few dollars. You're going to need a drill, a screwdriver, a joystick, some arcade buttons, your US and your USB uh, encoder. All of these are just the wires that come with it and I'll be showing you how to set that up in a minute. So this is your USB joystick encoder. Basically what it's going to do is take the signal of when you do that and encode it as a USB joystick uh, button, you know, basically just going on and off. So all these really are, are just uh, little wires, little jumper cables with a ground and a signal. And you just plug each of them into the end of these like so. And I guess it helps if I actually position it the correct way. This kit happened to include the USB encoder and all the cables and wiring that I needed. So this includes uh, eight of uh, eight wiring uh, harnesses for the buttons, and then the uh, wiring harnesses for the joystick here. And then, if you actually had a five-pin joystick, you could use this one. And this is where the USB plug goes. So this is just a USB to end cable here. So I'm going to plug that in right now. And that is now plugged into there. And now this would connect to our Raspberry Pi and we'd have a USB HID device and it would just act as a joystick. Okay, so now we're going to get ready to drill the holes into this case. So I'm pretty much going to do this freehand, but it's going to be a generic six button controller. So joystick is going to go here. We're going to have three buttons here and here. And then our start and select will be up here. So as you can see, I've got that little gnarly bit in there. So this is going to be a little weird that I'm doing it like this, but we'll see what happens. Awesome. We now have our first hole for our joystick. I'm going to go ahead and do the next six holes. So give me one second and I'll come back and we should see all those holes uh, been drilled out.
So we now have our six holes and our joystick hole. I'm just going to grab one of our larger buttons and just make sure they all fit. So as you can see, that just fits snugly right in there. So I'm gonna go ahead and make our star and select holes right now. And in a few seconds, you'll see that those have been done. All right, so you can see I've made the six buttons, the star and select buttons, the joystick hole, and a mess. So you'll probably get stuff like this getting inside of the bits, as you can see right there. There's a bit in there. Those come out really easily. You just have to take the bit out and then push a little bit of rubber. You'll also see on the inside here that it's really messy. Nothing a little vacuum won't fix. As you can see, you have some nice holes there. So just for fun, make sure everything fits nice. I'm going to go ahead and put all of our buttons in here. Nice and snug. Cool, so our joystick's starting to come to life. All right, now for the actual joystick, we're going to need to measure where these two holes are, because these are gonna be our mounting holes, and then cut small little uh, holes, uh, drill small little screw holes in there. So, First things first, I'm going to go ahead and remove the ball from the top of the joystick. So I'm just going to go flying there. Yay! And we now have an exposed joystick. So that just goes under like so. Well, you can kind of see that, yeah, that's going to fit well. All right, so the holes have been made. Basically what I'm going to do is take a screw and just uh, thread that into there. And on the other end, just going to use this little uh, uh, nut to grab it, or bolt. And I'm gonna put that, up. I'm going to put the uh, actual controller part into it and well, you'll see in a second. All right, so I've got the two bolts in. I'm gonna turn this around. And I'm going to take our joystick and just position that there. So they're on both bolts. I'm going to take the nuts and thread them. And it's still a little loose, but that's good for now. So I've got to go back here. And now your joystick should have come with one of these little guys. Just got to put that over. And the ball top. Now you can get these in all different kinds of shapes, colors, all kinds of fun stuff. I'm just going to thread that back onto the top there. And from the outside, our joystick looks pretty complete. Now it's time to do the wiring. So in the past couple of minutes, I just lightly brushed out the uh, box as well as cleaned the top a little bit with just a moist towelette. It got a lot of the uh, sawdust out, but you can just take a small vacuum to it and it'll really clean up the rest. So, what we have here is our encoder board. And we're going to now start uh, hooking up all these wires. 
So I know on my board that this is button zero, which is going to correspond to the top button here. And remember, this is all backwards right now. So one, two, three, four, five, six, start, select. And I know on my encoder board that start and select are the last two. So essentially what I'm going to do is grab the first bundle of wires here and just take them. And now it doesn't matter what order you put it in, just so long as both are connected to the, to the contacts. And there you go. That is one button done and ready. So I'm going to go ahead and connect all these others right here. And don't worry if the buttons come out a little bit. They're going to be a little loose. Some of them might be a little more snug than others. You can always put just a little bit of tape or uh, something on it, a little bit of glue. But for the most part, once all the wires are in and everything's tied down, the buttons aren't going to be going anywhere. So I'll be with you in a second. Okay, so we've got all of those wired up. And my cat is actually trying to help us. So all of the buttons are wired up. Now we just got to wire up the joystick, which are these blue and white ones. Hey, give me that. No, that's mine. Mine. Stop. 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 All right, so I got my cables. Now, this is where it gets a little tricky because you got to remember that the joystick actually operates backwards. So, when you're pressing this left, what's actually happening is it's actuating this guy right here. So you can see the little red dot is going in. So for left, we want to hook up our wires to this cable, or this, these wires to these contacts here. So I'm just going to grab my left cables. And again, it doesn't really matter what order you put them in as long as they're both connected. And usually the uh, joystick contacts are a little bit tighter. So, okay, those are connected. And now I'm going to go ahead and connect the rest. All right, so we've got all that wired up. We have our USB encoder board right there. All those wires, uh, the USB cord is now coming out through here and I made a small little hole on the top there for the USB cord to come out of. Um, this will be this will be a little loose so I recommend using like some two-sided tape to mount it to the top of your case but for the most part you are ready to try out your newly created arcade stick. So in a couple seconds, I'm going to be hooking this up to my Raspberry Pi and we're going to try playing some games on it. If you made it this far, thank you for watching. I really appreciate it. Uh, 
My new book, Raspberry Pi Gaming 2nd Edition, was just released uh, this week. So please like and subscribe, and if you like, purchase my book. That would be awesome. Thank you.